Section 5.4, Differential Equations. A differential equation is an equation involving unknown functions and their derivatives. The order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative it contains. The simplest differential equations are the first order differential equations of the form y prime equals a y, where y equals f of x is an unknown differentiable function to be determined. y prime equals dy dx is its derivative and a is a constant. As with most differential equations, this equation has infinitely many solutions. They are the functions of the form y equals c a c e a x, where c is an arbitrary constant. That every function of this form is a solution follows from the computation y prime equals c a e a x. Remember to take the derivative of e to the some constant times x. You just take that constant and pull it out, multiply it by it, and then you still have e to the ax, but c e to the ax was y, so we can just replace that with y, so y prime is just a times y. Accordingly, we call y equals c e to the ax the general solution of y prime equals a y. A condition, which specifies the value of the general solution at a point, is called an initial condition and the problem of solving a differential equation subject to an initial condition is called an initial value problem. The system of differential equations, uh, y1 prime, y2 prime, yn prime, etc., where, uh, which is equal to some constant times some y1, some constant times y2, some constant times yn, where y1 is some function of x, y2 is some other function of x, yn is some other function of x, are functions to be determined, and the aij's are constants, is called a constant coefficient first order homogeneous linear system. The solution, y1 equals y2 and so on equals yn equals zero, is called the trivial solution. Let's uh, do some examples. How about we write the following system in matrix form? So we have a system of uh, three different derivative functions, three different functions of x. So what we can do is we can write this as a matrix as y1 prime, y2 prime, y3 prime equal to the uh, coefficient matrix. Let's see, we have three for y1, and then zero y2 and zero y3 for y1 prime. Then for y2 prime, we have zero y1s, but we have minus two y2. So put a minus two over there, and then zero y3s. And similarly for y3 prime, we have zero y1, zero y2, but we have five y3. So then we multiply that by y1, y2, and y3. So that's uh, the same thing as saying y1 prime as a uh, vector. Maybe it would be better if I put the one a little bit like that. So y1 prime as a vector is equal to this coefficient matrix, three, 0, 0, 0, minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 5 times the vector y. Okay, how about we now solve this system? Similar to solving a system that we've seen previously. So we have y1 equals c1 e to the 3x y2 equals c2 e to the minus 2x and we have y3 equals c3 e to the 5x because if y1 prime is equal to 3 times y1. In order for the derivative to be 3 times the original function, the original function needs to be e to some constant times x. So that, that constant is just a, a 3 because when we take the derivative of y, the 3 will hop out. 
and there could be any constants over here. So we could also write this in matrix form as y equals y1, oops, y2, y3 equals uh, c1 e to the 3x, c2 e to the minus 2x, c3 e to the 5x. How about we now find a solution of the system that satisfies the initial conditions y1 of 0 equals 1, y2 of 0 equals 4, y3 of 0 equals minus 2. So we're essentially plugging in 0 for x in each of these. Okay, so we have uh, 1 is equal to y1 of 0. That's our first initial condition. So that has to be equal to c1 times e to the 0 instead of 3x, 3 times 0 to 0. But e to the 0 is 1, so that just be equal to c1. So that tells us c1 is 1 under, these, uh, under this initial condition. The next one, 4, is y2 of 0. So that means we have c2, again, times e to the 0 equals c2. So c2 is 4. And then we have minus 2 is y3 of 0 which is c3 e to the 0, which is just c3. So that gives us y1 is equal to e to the 3x, y2 is equal to 4e to the minus 2x, and y3 is equal to minus 2e to the 5x. So we could write y equals y1, y2, y3 equals e to the 3x, 4e to the minus 2x, and minus 2e to the 5x is our specific solution given the uh, initial conditions. Notice this next example is already a little bit more tricky. We have y1 prime over here equal to y1 plus y2. So we have two different functions involved in our first derivative and two different functions involved in our second derivative. So we can't just read off the um, exponentials as we did previously. Instead, what we could do is we could rewrite the system using matrices, diagonalize the system, and then just have one function for each variable. And then we could do the same thing we did previously and write it in terms of exponential solutions. So how about we try doing that? We'll write the matrix A equal to 1, 1, 4, minus 2. And we'll get the determinant of lambda i minus a equal to determinant of lambda minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, lambda plus 2. So that's equal to lambda squared plus lambda minus 6. And we can factor that as lambda plus 3 times lambda minus 2. So that gives us eigenvalues of lambda equals minus 3 and lambda equals 2. So now we can write the matrix lambda minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, lambda plus 2, and multiply that by the vector x, x1, x2 over here for the components. and set that equal to the zero vector. 
So let's solve that for lambda equals 2 first. So plugging in lambda equals 2, we get 1 minus 1, 0, minus 4, 4, 0 for our augmented matrix when I join the 0, 0 vector. So I get 1 minus 1, 0 on top. The second uh, row I could just 0 out or add a suitable multiple of the first row to it. Either way, I could 0, 0, 0. And that gives me x1 minus x2 equals 0 from the top row. So that means x2 is a free variable. I'll set it equal to t. x1 is equal to x2 by moving this to the other side. So that means that x1 is also t. So that gives me the solution x1, x2 equal to t, t. And I'll factor out the t and get the vector 1, 1. And that gives me my first vector P1 for my diagonalization equal to 1, 1. Now I'll do it for lambda equals minus 3. So I'll get the matrix minus 4, minus 1, 0, minus 4, minus 1, 0 by plugging in minus 3. I reduce that. I'll get 1, 1 fourth by dividing by minus 4, 0, and then 0 at the second row. And that gives me a top equation of x1 plus 1 fourth x2 equals 0. I'll set x2 equals t. Solving for x1, I get that x1 is minus 1 fourth x2, so it's minus 1 fourth t. So then I have x1, x2 equal to minus 1 fourth t, t, and I'll factor out the t, and I'll get minus 1 fourth 1, and I'll set that vector to be p2. And now I should be able to diagonalize. So I'll set my matrix P equal to the first vector I got, P1 was 1, 1. And then my second column is minus 1 fourth 1 for P2. So my diagonalization, D equals P inverse AP will be the matrix with uh, the diagonal matrix with uh, eigenvalues along diagonals. So that's 2 minus 3 and then 0 otherwise. And what I'll do is I'll set y equal to p times u. y prime will be p times u prime. So I can solve the equation u prime equals du. And that should be easier to solve than my uh, original uh, equation. So that's 2, 0, 0, minus 3 times u. So u1 prime is therefore equal to 2 u1 and u2 prime is equal to minus 3 u2. So now I have derivative equal to one function and another derivative equal to another function. Much easier to solve this. We'll do it the same way we did the previous example. We get that u1 is equal to c1 e to the 2x and u2 is equal to c2 e to the minus 3x. So that means that my solution u is the vector c1 e to the 2x, c2 
e to the minus 3x. And now I'll just go back and plug that in to determine y. So I get that y is y1, y2 is equal to uh, p times u. So that's 1, 1, minus 1 fourth, 1 times u is c1 e to the 2x c2 e to the minus 3x and multiplying that out we get c1 e to the 2x minus 1 fourth c2 e to the minus 3x and then c1 e to the 2x plus 1 c2 e to the minus 3x and that's great it's the same thing as saying that y1 is equal to c1 e to the 2x minus 1 fourth c2 e to the minus 3x and y2 is equal to c1 e to the 2x plus c2 e to the minus 3x. So now we have a pretty handy way of solving differential systems of differential equations using matrices and uh, diagonalization. How about we now find the solution that satisfies some initial conditions? So we have y1 of 0 equals 1, y2 of 0 equals 6. So plugging that in, we get that c1 minus 1 fourth c2 is equal to 1 just by plugging in 0 over here and then setting that equal to 1, and plug in 0 for x. And I also get that c1 plus c2 is equal to 6 by plugging in 0 for my second equation and setting that equal to 6. So solving that system, I could just uh, take uh, this equation, subtract the other one, cancel that out, solve for c2. So I'll see that c2 is 4. And plugging that back in, I get the c1 is 2 or solve it any way you'd like. In any case, you get the particular solutions y1 equals 2e to the 2x minus e to the minus 3x, y2 equals 2e to the 2x plus 4e to the minus 3x.